If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. Vestia Kutia and also Kabarovsk are off the map now. I'm also attacking here the Philippines as he accidentally attacked me. It was the perfect excuse to attack him. He's been doing a bit of stupid stuff actually. He has been producing a level 5 submarines in only level 1 naval bases. He has also been building level 3 industry in non-core provinces which is just a waste of resources as they only produce at 25%. I also have now shared maps with Argelansk which is pulling back. He mainly has medium tanks and heavy tanks which is the reason why here in the north I am keeping some anti-tank units. I have 10 regular artillery which are great against armor. They are very good in attack against heavy armor 7.5. I've also got anti-tank which is good against armored units. And I also made tank destroyers which are also great against heavy armored units. I am prepared. I've also made attack bombers, I have 19 of which still needs to be upgraded to level 3 and 8 who are upgrading so that makes 27 in total. 27 of these babies on level 3 soon, this is gonna be very deadly for heavy armored units. If Argolansk turns on me or I attack him because also British Columbia here is moving in troops and Illinois. I'm pretty much sure that we're gonna have to attack him. Argolensk insisted in sharing maps, so I was like, okay, yeah, why not? You have a lot of troops on my border. I don't like this. And it's actually Argolensk or South India who needs to be attacked. And as South India has been my longtime ally, I prefer to be true to my allies. Also the mightiest army list has been published. I'm gonna go to the newspaper, scroll all the way down. South Mexico with the help of gold and now pretty much run by his good and big economy. He has now 22% and I have 14%. We are on the lead only followed by South India with 12% and all the other players have 6% or less. So there's no worries here, Argolansk, he's gonna get his ass kicked. We are now day 18, as you can see, and in the index of coalitions, now that India joined us, we only lack 32 points for the victory, so the game will be over today. I am attacking Papua New Guinea, but as you see, he doesn't have a lot, he only has planes, so he cannot defend himself, which is great. Um, here I am shelling Palau with my battleships just to be sure because the Philippines he has high level militia the maximum level that you can have so that's gonna be the end of it I'm gonna be able to take these cities here these five cities before the game ends so I will have done my part um, now so it's the last day so I always have the ritual for the last day as you can see I have a lot of resources um, so what I always do is I am producing a lot of um, militia at the end of the game. Why? Because there's an achievement where you need to produce thousands of militia to have the achievement. So I'm gonna train those. I've just trained seven. I'm gonna queue them up. That's good. So that's already a lot of militia now queued up. Perfect. Next thing I want to do is to construct as much as I can because you can see here I've got a lot of resources left and I want to re lose all these resources. I want to use as many resources as I can. So I'm gonna construct because when you construct you get extra XP points by constructing. This way I can level up faster. So I'm gonna build a secret lab because, well, I've got a lot of resources to do so. So I'm going to continue to construct up to the point where I have no more resources left because this way I can trade my resources for more experience points. 
at the end this game is all about resource efficiency so i want to use them as much as i can to get a high amount of experience points so the game is over unfortunately not with a solo victory as i wanted but with a coalition victory still we need to adapt sometimes we can't achieve our goals in this game you also need to learn how to compromise to be able to move forward this was it for this video I'm gonna try to solo a little that war map again in the future. Let's hope next time I'll do better. Oh, <laughs> 